Hello friends, welcome back. Want to make your Azure AD B2C sign-in experience more secure and user-friendly? Today, I will show you how to set up critical features like per user multi-factor authentication, a remember me option for easy sign-ins, and even custom branding to showcase your company style on your login page. So let's optimize your app security and user experience with these top Azure AD B2C tips. Without delay, come let's get started. Alright, so I have logged into the portal.azure.com and uh, in order to go to Azure AD B2C tenant, I need to go here, switch to directory and my one of my Azure AD B2C tenant directory is this one. I'm going to switch this. You'll end up in the Azure AD B2C tenant. So here if I go to Azure AD B2C, here you will see a lot of settings here. So we're going to see some important things. So let's start with company branding. So there is something called custom UI that you can set up. I have a lot of videos in the channel that requires your own HTML page uploaded to the storage account. And then you can actually change that page to use as your login and sign up page. But this one, what it is going to do is you will just customize the background image logo and all of those things still keeping the Microsoft a login page sign up page as it is. So under manage if you go to company branding you will see like this. So you can you can see there will be like default sign in experience customize the browser language and all of those things. So let's get started. So if I go to default sign in experience you can click on customize and you'll end up in basics sign in form and review. So here you can actually choose however you want. So what we are going to do in this demo is we are going to see how this is going to look before and after. So I have an application which is Smart Learn by Karthik. This is basically exactly like you know dummy application. It's an online course enrollment application. A lot of you have already seen this. So basically when you try to log in, I do not have any custom page set up. So this is the Microsoft page that comes. You see there's a blue color background and some whitish stuff and some cube shaped logo and if you go to sign up page it'll have some similar logos background right so this is what we are going to change it without having more customized page like right? that's called company branding so i'm going to choose a couple of things quickly and see how it looks so first one is the background image it tells what kind of a size what is the image type and all of those things so i'm going to just choose this as a background image okay this is only for demo purpose um not really going to use it for myself uh, I just want to show you how it looks so that this matches the size that's why it doesn't show any error and if you actually you know upload anything that is not matching this it will definitely show you error for example you see this it's showing this image but it is too big so it's not accepting so let's continue on the sign in form you can see the banner logo so banner logo I'm going to choose a logo let's choose a different logo and then again same thing you keep choosing what kind of a square logo you want i'm going to choose this so the next one is the sign in page text so basically it tells you a description of what it is it's like a public facing one so don't put anything sensitive and if you wanted to put something you know use this kind of a syntax so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some basic text like please enter the username password to access the account and blah blah okay so next is the review state and coming back right see look at this we don't need to use the username hint so it clearly says customize the hint text in the username field if the guest user sign into your app we recommend that you do not set this makes sense right so we don't need to set unnecessary stuff let's go to review everything looks good see it gives you a warning that everything is public do not put anything sensitive so if i create this uh, default branding is getting created for my tenant and what happens is you know i'm going to show you if i try to sign in with this application now how things looks right so you know sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to reflect let's try that out i'm going to click on login all right so we did set up the logos and background images and all of those things for our sign in sign up experience and uh, after some time the logos everything is updated let's take a look how it looks I'm clicking on login and you see this. This is the image that we chose as the background image. So the background image got replaced with some blue color. So this is the new screen. 
and you can also see the logo got updated it was a square that got updated with my logo if i go to sign up page again same right so now this at least looks like it is from learn smart coding because i just had some images here long story short all what i'm trying to do is i'm keeping the microsoft sign in sign up experience as it is but changing the branding company branding meaning the background image the logos and all of those things in sign up text and you know all of those things i changed all right so this is how you do and uh, this is the simplest way you can present your company as with using the existing sign in sign up experience for microsoft in case you wanted to customize the entire page in a different way in case you wanted to change the complete login like this see how it is showing up like the the page itself is changed with the colors and all of those things then you can use azure adb to see custom login and there are some specific videos that in this in the channel and there are some specific videos in the channel so i will give you those in the description and feel free to take a look at that as well all right the next one is users so if you go to under users you will see all of the users who is signing into your tenant will be displayed here what we are going to do is we can programmatically using graph api we can actually set up the mfa for specific user first of all what is mfa multi factor authentication so you have username and password that if you try to sign in you will be able to sign in but what if if your password is compromised compromised in the sense like somebody knows your password so in that case apart from the username password there should be a second authentication mechanism that's called mfa multi factor authentication so you can actually set up the multi factor authentication like globally or per user so if you go and click on per user mfa it will ask you to whom you wanted to set for example if i pick up this user which is myself or any other user right and then i can actually do a enable mfa okay so if i enable it only for that user this and this mfa is enabled you can actually set up these things in uh, using the graph api as well and if you look at this user mfa setting you can based on what you want right you can actually click on this checkbox all of these things that we do in the portal is possible to do using microsoft graph api maybe in a different video i'll show you how you can do programmatically but this is something that you can set up in the portal at least you should know what are options available so that you know how you can do programmatically as well now this is for the user mfa if you go to users user settings and if you scroll down there's something called show user so, i mean show keep user sign in so you can enable this and save it okay so this is how you do the uh, sign in option setting for the user and then let's quickly take a look at some of the stuff okay so this is like deleted users you can reset the uh, you know password this is called self service password reset that's one of the feature in azure adb to see where the administration administrative work is uh, you know less where an user can reset their own password all of those stuffs can be done here so let's see what else we have we have seen the custom branding we have seen the user settings users and then you see this under security Hello. so what happens is all of these things right if azure feels the user is risky it comes and puts the user into this risky user so risk detection means if, if the user if azure feels you know when you try to sign in that it, this kind of a risky detection it finds it will record here well, basically whenever it finds a user as risky it will always challenge uh, the browser to have a mfa uh automatically you know done so that to secure your uh, user as well as the system okay and then there are other things like api connectors we have seen those stuff in the different videos but in this one you know this is the main thing uh authentication method password protection you have like to show 10 times lock out for 60 seconds all of these things if you try the password for wrong for 10 times next to 60 seconds is locked out so those kind of settings you can actually go through this and you can see a lot of settings are here under monitoring right so what you can do is so azure adb to see there are important things we did let's recap we did the custom branding we did the 
user MFA, like user based MFA settings, multi factor authentication settings, user remembering settings, right? User can remember the device or sign me in so that user can do so. All of those things we saw how to do it in the portal. All right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you. And I will see you in the next interesting video. Until then, signing off Kartik. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.